In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this subtle manipulation using Photoshop. So let's get started. Two words are through all here and as you can see, this is the final output. So to create this effect, first of all, let's go to file and open the base image. So select the model image and open it. So first of all, we need to remove the background and for that, I will recommend using pen tool. But if you don't know how to use that, you can use this tool. Right click and select magnetic lasso tool, then zoom in and start making selection around the edges. Once your selection is done, go and click on this little icon and apply a layer mask. Okay, now I'm gonna go and crop the image a little bit. So for that, select your crop tool and I'm gonna go and crop it from here, a little bit from here. And after that, I'm gonna go and increase the size a little bit here because we're gonna add the bowl, so we need some space. So for that, go and make it uh, something like that. Okay, then go and confirm it. Now we need to add a background. For that, go and click on this little icon here and create a new blank layer and this will go under your model. Then select your paint bucket tool, right click paint bucket and in the color make sure you have white color and fill it. After that, we're gonna make the hair a little bit smoother. So for that, select the layer mask of your model, right click and select refine mask. And here, go and paint around the edge a little bit. Use your bracket key to make the brush bigger and paint. In the same way, I'm gonna press Ctrl plus and zoom in a little bit. And then paint here, make your brush a bit smaller. Okay, so that is looking fine, then go and hit OK. Now we need to apply gradient on the background. So for that, right click and select blending options and go and select gradient overlay. And in the gradient, I'm using standard black and white gradient. Uh, and in the opacity, go and make it 50%. And in the style, go and make it a radial and make it reverse so dark portion is outside and increase the scaling so we have a bit uh, softer transition. So I'm gonna go and make it 140, then go and hit OK. Now let's go and add the fishbowl image. So for that, go to File, Place and select the fishbowl and then go and place it. Uh, confirm it and I'm gonna go and put it on top of model so we can see it properly. Then we need to remove the background and pen tool is the only thing that worked properly. So I'm gonna go and select pen tool and make selection of the ball. Once your work path is ready, go and press Ctrl Enter to turn it into a selection and then go and click on your layer mask. So we have ball ready. After that, I'm gonna go and press Ctrl T then right click and select flip vertical so it's upside down and then I'm gonna go and reduce its opacity so I can see what is going on and then hold your shift key and make it bigger from here and make sure you cover the entire head I think that is big enough then go and confirm it now make the opacity 100% and put the bowl under the model and then double click here on the name and rename it to hard light and then go and change the blending mode of this layer to hard light. Uh, so that is done. After that, we need to make a copy of it. So go and press Ctrl J, uh, select the ball and put this on top of model. But this time we will go and change this blend mode to color dodge. But the thing is, it's really strong. So we're gonna go and utilize it properly. So first thing, activate the layer mask of this thing. And re first of all, let's rename this thing so things don't get confusing. Let's go and make it color dodge. Okay, so to use it properly, activate layer mask of this thing and make sure you have black color here on your foreground and then go and press alt backspace. So the bowl is still there, but it's hidden. Now we're going to bring it back, but just a little bit. So for that, go and activate your brush tool from here and make it a little bit bigger. Right click and make sure hardness is 0% and in the opacity, go and make it somewhere around like 30-40%. So let's try 35 and after that, we need to paint only inside the bowl, right? We don't want any outside area. So for that, hold your control key and click on the layer mask of this hard dyed layer here. So we have a really nice selection of the bowl. Now activate the layer mask of color dodge. And since we want to bring back some details, I'm going to go and change the color to white and paint a little bit here like this.
And now as you can see I did little too much here so I can simply go and change the color to black and I can erase it again. And here on the edge I'm gonna go and make the opacity 100% and just paint with a really tiny brush and make sure color is white. So we have that hard edge uh, for the fish bowl. Once this is done, to remove the selection, go to select and deselect. So this is looking good, but we can make it better. So just like the last time, activate the hard light, make a copy of it, control J, and put it on top of your color dodge. Now, uh, rename this thing to screen. And just like the name, I'm gonna go and change this blend mode to screen. Uh, now activate the layer mask, and just like here, make sure you have black color here. Then go and press Alt Backspace. Now we're gonna bring some of the details back. So I'm gonna change the color to white. Make sure I have my brush tool. And in the opacity, I'm gonna go and make it somewhere on like 30%. Uh, and then go and make your brush a little bit bigger. And we're gonna bring some details back. And just like the last time, hold your control key and click on the ball layer mask here on the hard light. So you have selection and then go and paint some of the details back. And once this is done, go to your select and deselect to remove the selection. Okay, so most difficult part of the image, it's done. The fishbowl looks pretty good and now we can add the water and other elements. And before we add the elements, I'm gonna go and reduce the opacity of screen layer a little bit. And also reduce the opacity of color dodge layer a little bit. So it's not too strong. So let's keep it 90. And after that, let's add the water. So I'm gonna go to file, place and select the water image, then go and place it. And make sure this layer will be under both. Let's go and confirm it so we can move the layer. Okay, so this layer will go under both of your balls here, like this. And we got and we have to flip it because the ball is upside down. So press Ctrl T, right click, and select flip vertical. It's upside down. And then hold your shift key and make it big enough. So it covers the entire ball. Let's go and reduce the opacity so we can see where to adjust it. So this looks nice. Uh, then go and confirm it. Now we have to apply the same layer mask we have here. So make the opacity 100%. After that, just like the last time, hold your control key and click on the layer mask of this hard light layer. This is important, we're gonna use it multiple times. So we have the selection right and make sure you have your water layer active. Then go and click on the layer mask. So it will be only visible in that area and then go and in the opacity make it 30%. Now if I zoom in as you can see we have a little bit of uh, water here that we don't need. So we can simply select a brush tool and select black color and in the opacity make sure it's 100% so we can remove it completely and then just go and erase it like this. Okay now let's go and add the splash image. So for that go to file, place and select the water splash, go and place it. And I'm gonna go and make it big. And by the way, in the layers, it will go on top of your water image. So let's go and make it big enough. And also I'm gonna right click and select warp and make it a little bit flat because I think it's way too much wavy. Looking good, then go and confirm it. After that, we need to apply the same layer mask. So hold your control key, click on the hard light image and make sure you have water splash active. Then go and click on the layer mask. So it will be only visible in that area. And after that, go and change this layer's blending mode to soft light. So we have really nice blending. And as you can see, uh, the layer like this splash image, it's a little bit too thick. So to make it thinner, I'm gonna make sure I have my black color with soft brush and then go and remove it a little bit from here. So it blends really nice. Okay, so this is looking good. Now to make it a little bit more powerful, I'm gonna make a copy of it. So activate the layer, then press Ctrl J and it's a little too strong at the moment. So I'm gonna go and change the opacity to 40%. So we have a little bit more contrast. Now as you can see this water layer here, uh, it's everywhere. Like we have to match it according to our splash. So activate the layer mask of your water layer. And first of all, we need to remove a little bit from here. So I'm gonna go and erase it with black brush and make sure it flows completely with the splash image. 
okay so this is looking good and now we can add the fish so for that go to filter place and select the fish image then go and place it then go and make it big a little bit something like this then go and confirm it now the fish will go under the water or she will die okay so the fish is here the water here and the water splash this is the order of the layers now this is just way too much fish and it looks distracting now ideally i would apply a layer mask but i think tutorial is confusing enough so i'm just gonna simply rasterize the layer so right click and select rasterize layer so we can directly delete this thing and now i'm gonna simply go and erase some of the fish so for that select your eraser tool right click make sure hardness is 100 uh, percent then go and start erasing the fish that you don't like so let's go and kill this one uh, erase this one this one okay once this is done we have to adjust them properly so i'm gonna go and select uh, where is it right click and select my lasso tool and I'm gonna go and make selection of this fish like this and after that I'm gonna move it here so for that select your move tool and move this thing here like this and the same way I'm gonna adjust all of the fish so select your lasso tool make selection of the fish like this select your move tool and move the fish simple Now here's one important thing that I forgot to tell you. When you make the selection, like let's say we have lasso tool and I made selection of this fish, make sure that you have selected this first option. Otherwise you will start selecting multiple images at once and it will get really confusing. So make sure you have first option. Okay, so I'm happy here and I'm gonna remove the selection, press Ctrl D. Okay, so the fish is ready. Now let's go and add the bubbles. So go to file, place and select the bubbles image, then go and place it. Go and confirm it now the bubbles they will go on top of everything water splash or everything but it will stay under both of the fishbowl image so exactly here and after that go and change the bubbles blending mode to color dodge and now we need to remove some of the bubbles so simply just go and apply a layer mask select a brush tool with black color and it is the bubbles that you don't like and also make sure opacity is 100 percent And inside the bowl, don't keep all of the bubbles, they are like too much. So to have an idea, keep the bubbles around the fish a lot and remove it from other places. Okay, so the bubbles are looking really nice and now we can add the shadows. So for that, activate the model layer and create a new blank layer. It will go exactly on top of your model here and rename it to shadows. After that, make sure you have selected your brush tool and in the colors go and make it black because shadows are black and in the opacity i'm gonna go and make it somewhere around like 30 percent uh, and then go and start painting here a little bit on the neck just like this just go and make it one or two stroke that's like more than enough and after that i'm gonna go and do single clicks do not paint just do the damn clicks a click here a here everywhere you see a fish go and do a click like this this and this and then go and start reducing the opacity until it starts blending properly so i'm gonna go and make it like 50 percent so now if i turn it on and off it gives it a little bit more depth and if you spend a lot of time painting properly in detail it will look fantastic so all the work is done and now we can go and make the picture a little bit more colorful because it looks kind of dull so for that go and create new adjustment layer and select vibrance and this will go on top of everything everything then go and make the make it all the way 100 percent so as you can see it suddenly looks really more colorful and alive now we're gonna make the fish a little bit more you know punchier so for that create new adjustment layer and get a selective colors and then make sure you have reds here and in the cyan go and add a little bit more red not too much though okay otherwise it will look pretty awful so i think minus 19 percent is good and then go and select your cyans and add a little bit of cyan here so it will make the water a little bit more colorful and i believe the vibrance layer we did a little too much so i'm gonna go back here double click and actually gonna go and make it 80 percent to see how it looks okay now this looks like more natural 85 is better okay and you can also do one more thing to add more depth so for that go and activate your fishbowl layer then go and create a new blank layer 
and we need selection of the fishball first so hold your control key and click here on the layer mask so we have selection of the fishball then make sure you have uh, brush tool and uh, black color and i'm gonna go and start painting on the edge like this and yes with 100 percent opacity so go and paint and for this thing to work make sure that you have really soft brush right click see my hardness is zero percent once this is done remove the selection ctrl d and after that in the blend mode go and change it to soft light so now if i turn it on and off we have really nice depth in the bowl and then you can reduce the opacity to blend it further looking nice so that's it and this is the final output and i know it's pretty confusing tutorial but once you get through it you will have learned so many new things so i really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if it did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions feel free to ask me in comment section below and if you're new here and want to check out more stuff by me you can click on any of these boxes and you can also click on that subscribe button so every time i upload a new video you will get the update Plus clicking on that subscribe button will take you to my YouTube channel where I have tons of Photoshop tutorials waiting for you. So till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.